Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is going to be about adding more color to your palette. As a laser engraver, and most of the people that watch my videos are laser engravers, you go to from black, which is 100% or 100 on the K, down to 10 on the K. And then every one of these is 20, 30, 40, 50 up the hill, and then you have white on your palette. Well, I created two more, two new colors that are two and four. And I went out to the shop and I actually ran that, ran that little test. And this picture doesn't know justice. And these kind of look the same. That actually looks darker, but I think it's just something in the wood. We're in depth. I ran it all at the same time, 70 uh, power at 100 speed. And increasingly, I'm getting less depth all the way across till I get up to the 10% gray and I think it engraved just a hair but my other two didn't engrave it at all but it did take the finish off and in person while it was happening these two squares are almost white uh, so it doesn't look as good in the picture as it does in person now not saying that you'll ever do this but this is how you can make colors and and in past videos you can take a black and hold down your control button and if you look right down here it's 100 percent add a white and you get 90. you can make you know the color less and less and less by holding down the control button and adding a white or hell you or even you could add a red and make it a little bit different tint but if you wanted a, a lot of more grays like we are for laser engravers, you could do this. You could fill that one in with black, fill that one in with white. And even though we can't see it, we're going to put our yellow box trick and there it is white. Now I'm going to get the blend tool and I'm going to change. Well, I'm going to leave that at 20. So normally when we have 10 steps of color, now we got 20. While you got it selected, go up and break blend, blend apart, and then go up and ungroup. Now you have a five on the K scale. If we take away our white, the next one is five. The next one is nine. So we've got two colors now that are less than our normal 10. So I'm not saying you'll ever use this, but it is helpful. Now let's take all this stuff away. And, and this is the real reason people would do this. People that can draw in color that we can't. It's got every shade of color between, I picked two colors between this color and this color. And look at the difference. I got every shade in between there. I think I did it a hundred times. So we're going to select all these. First of all, what I'm going to do is take away the fill or the outline. And while these are selected, I'm going to go up to Windows, Color Palettes, Create from Selection. I'm going to call it Gray 2. Save. I already saved one. So here's our new color palette. It's got twice the amount of grays in it. Now, the only thing I don't like, and I don't really understand how you could do it, but since we're really not going to use it that much, the colors aren't in order. There's 95 and there's 100. So it's basically backwards. On the, the first one's white. And it, so black should be down here. And there might be a way you could move it down there. I don't really know. Yeah, there you go. So now we have black at 100%, 95, 91. And, it, and well, they're not in order. But I'm just... Looking at that, I've turned them all. Uh, I must have had them selected. Anyway, there you go. If you ever needed a shade of gray, maybe people that do 3D work, uh, you can see the difference. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.